SLA GLC Black Resin versus SLS Nylon. Which will be the stronger? Welcome back. GLC CDP contacted me. They have some new interesting materials and they asked me if I can test them. I told them it wouldn't be the problem, but I'm really full next four months and I'm not accepting new reviews until I don't clear all these boxes. But they told me they can cover me some production fees. So technically, yes, uh, this is a sponsored video, but all they are paying for is changing the order. So I'm doing this video now and not in the four months. And uh, I'm in easier position because I can just do my regular testings and I will just present you the results. What are these materials? Well, one of them is uh, printed with SLA technology and it is GLC black resin. And the other is printed with SLS technology and it is a nylon 3201 PAF. About these materials information from the website. Uh, about GLC black resin. High toughness, dimensional stability, hardness and good temperature resistance up to 65 degrees Celsius, which is a little bit surprising to me. I'm not experienced with the resin, but it is good for the resin. But anyway, I will do the temperature testing too and we will see the results. And it has deep black color. About the nylon, good toughness and good mechanical properties, but they don't go in the details which mechanical properties and heat proof up to 147 degrees Celsius. And yes, this is typical for the nylons. They are very temperature resistant materials. Let's see what's in the box. Well, I can see it had some hard time during the shipping, but what is interesting that uh, from the order until this box arrived was less than one week, which is a new record by them. The box is damaged, but it looks like everything is protected inside. I have to be careful not to mix them, but I can see the JSC black resin is smoother compared to this nylon. I'm not sure if it's visible on the screen too, but this is deeper black color, the black resin, and it is smoother compared to this nylon. Now I have a small problem with these test objects for the tensile test and the layer adhesion. Theoretically two are printed in horizontal and two in vertical position, but I don't know which is which. I just analyze it under this magnifying glass and I can see, for example, with this resin that these two surfaces are different. So they are printed in different position, but I don't know which is which and same here. But anyway, theoretically there shouldn't be a big difference in strength along the X and Z axis. But I will just do the testing and we will see this from the numbers. Just in case I check them under the microscope too, this is the resin and I can clearly see that two on the right side have uh, bigger lines compared to two on the left side, so they are printed in different position, only I don't know which is which. This is SLS nylon and I can see some differences between two objects on the left and on the right side, but incredible how these objects look very similarly from each side. Let me show you the ordering process. After the login I can upload the STL files. And then for each object, I have to select the material. And if necessary, I can change the quantity, like in this case, and I can add some additional information. For example, I want this to be printed in horizontal or in vertical position. And then I can save to the cart. And I can see immediately estimated price and I can select the shipping method. I like the DHL with DDP priority. In this case, I don't have to pay the customs and the tax fees. And <laughs> the shipping is expensive than the object themselves. All files will be reviewed manually and if everything is okay, only then I can do the payment. Just quickly to check the dimensional accuracy, the design length is 80 millimeters here, 80.06. There is no elephant foot here and uh, hook in X and Y direction, wow, <laughs> 0 0. really accurate. And now the nylon, 80.17, so a little bit bigger, and uh, no, there is no elephant foot here, neither, and the hook, 39.06, Seventeen zero nine, so a little bit bigger, but uh, this black resin really have great dimensional accuracy. Just quick check of the weight to see if there's any bigger difference. This is the resin. Three point six zero one grams. This is nylon. Three point one one two lighter. I since I know the dimensions of the bending test object, I can calculate the density. And the resin is slightly heavier and the nylon is slightly lighter compared to the water. 
This means one will sink and the other will float. And don't worry, I already did the testing with these test objects. And there it is. Nano flows, resin sink. This is a tensile test and I'm starting with the resin. Very similar numbers in all four cases. And this is the nylon and here we can see some difference, see, depend on the orientation of the printing. And I really like this break surface when it is not along the one layer. I got several requests to analyze the data immediately after the testing, so let's try that version. On the tensile test we can see that uh, with the resin printing, SLA printing, there is no big difference see, if printed in horizontal or vertical position. And this means that with uh, this GRC black resin we don't have that weakness along the z-axis. Until with the nylon we can clearly see that approximately 50% stronger is the version which is printed horizontally. The hook test where the object have some bending and tensile stress too. And side by side two materials and uh, yes, resin was stronger again. But I really like this interesting uh, cross section area where it is not just one layer. On the hook test, the resin was stronger approximately by 70% compared to the nylon. Two sided shear test, the diameter is 5 mm, side by side two materials. Quite big brake loads. On the shear test, the resin was stronger again, but this time only by 19%. The torque or twist test, diameter is 6 mm here, and I'll try to record the load at 90 degree rotation and the maximum load. Very interesting break cross-section surfaces and also very sharp in both cases. On torque or twist test the resin was stronger compared to the nylon by approximately 67%, only I couldn't make 90 degree rotation with it, but this is not bad property, especially if we need some stiffness. Bending test speed up video where I am measuring the deformation under these loads after 1, 30 and 60 seconds and definitely more deformation on the nylon. More permanent deformation on the nylon compared to the resin. 3 point bending test and smaller values are better and this red is actually the black resin. And this is the deformation under these loads after 1, 30 and 60 seconds. And we can see not only smaller deformation on the resin, but also we can see with the nylon that it don't like these uh, bigger loads. Uh, we can see continuous deformation during the time. And now the impact test with this half kilogram hammer and I believe that the nylon will have the advantage here, but we will see soon. Resin. Zero position. Nylon. But at this moment I'm not sure the brake looks very similar, but let's analyze the footage. The zero position of the hammer and after breaking the resin test object and this is after breaking the nylon and if I measure everything from the zero position, I can get the age, which I can use in this equation. But this also means that the nylon is a slightly tougher material compared to this uh, GLC black resin. But in both cases, these are quite uh, brittle materials. And here you can see the numbers in kilojoules per square meters. The creep test the deformation under the constant load of 1.25 kilograms. And I know that the nylon don't really like this type of distress. Fifteen point fifty. Twenty one zero one. As I predicted, bigger initial deformation on the nylon part compared to the resin, but probably the creeping will be bigger too. This means the deformation between these days. This is day five, and definitely more creeping on the nylon part. But let's measure them. Seventeen point forty three. Nylon. Thirty two point ninety. Removing of the load. Definitely more permanent deformation on the nylon part. Creep test, this is a distance between two reference surfaces and uh, we can see smaller values are better, so less deformation on the resin. But what is important with the creeping is the difference between two days and that's what we can see on this graph. And we can see that the nylon uh, reduced significantly with the creeping on the day two, but it was always present even on a day five. Until the black resin, it was visible on day one and two, but after third day that was very minimal. Temperature test in the oven, and if the resin will start to deform really so early, I have to take it down, because with the nylon I will go much higher. And also I have these test objects from the TPU for the AMS. This is a speed up time lapse video, and this TPU started with deformation quite early, so I took it out earlier. And the first deformation on resin I noticed on 117 degrees Celsius. 
124 degrees Celsius and I can see some small deformation on the resin. I want to see how hard is it. Yes, this is very soft now and I will take it out. Back to speed up video and I'm not 100% sure but approximately on 175 degrees Celsius I noticed the first deformation on this test object. 177 degrees Celsius and uh, I can see some deformation on it. I want to see how hard is this material. Ah yes. Soft. Oh. <laughs> I hope I will be able to clean this and never so so sticky material. Okay. Obviously the nail was better in this test, but I'm not sure on which temperature we can use these test objects because at these temperatures I just noticed the first failure, but probably the maximal is lower than this. Let me know which method you like better presenting of the results. After each testing, like in this video, or summary at the end, and I can have only one because I must keep the video short. Between these two materials, for me quite obvious that the resin is the winner. I really like its dimensional accuracy and what I like the most that it almost don't have the weakness along the z-axis. I can see only two advantages of this uh, nylon. One of them is it is slightly tougher compared to this resin, but it is also more temperature resistant material. Maybe there are some other advantages too, but within these which I test I can see only these two. You can also check other services by GSC CDP and I already use their metal CD printing services. They have uh, quite good prices. <laughs> Just for example, this uh, twist drill is made with this method and I was able to drill aluminum with it. Of course, you don't want to CD print this kind of tools, you can buy them, but it is just good to know the possibilities. But that would be it from my side. Thank you for watching and follow me to my next video. Bye.